friends welcome to my channel Dhanesh here uh, in this video I am going to discuss one of the important concepts in physics that is is it possible to travel faster than the speed of light the speed of light in vacuum commonly denoted as C is a universal physical constant important in many areas of physics and you know its value is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. Nothing can move faster than the speed of light. When Einstein set forth this theory of relativity, this was his inviolable postulate that there was an ultimate cosmic speed limit and that only massless particles could ever attain it. All massive particles could only approach it but would never reach it. The speed of light, according to Einstein, was the same for all observers in all reference frames and no form of matter could ever attain it. Most textbooks say that nothing can go faster than light, but you can break the light barrier, but not in the way we see in the movies. There are, in fact, several ways to travel faster than light. Some examples are given below. I am going to discuss each example in detail. They are quantum entanglement, quantum tunneling, universal expansion, and Cherno radiation. Uh, the first example I discussed is quantum entanglement. So what is quantum entanglement? Quantum entanglement is a phenomenon observed at the quantum scale or atomic scale where entangled particles stay connected so that the actions performed on one of the particles affects the other. No matter the distance between the two particles, even at a distance of light years. It is possible to prepare two subatomic particles and both are discrete sorry and both are described by a single wave function then these two particles are entangled as long as the entangled particles don't interact with anything you can separate the particles feet miles or even huge distance and the two particles are connected by a single wave function and they will have separate spin. As you know, the quantum world is intrinsically probabilistic. We can't predict the outcome of a measurement before we make it. It's really uncanny when we measure the spin direction of the both entangled particles. If the horizontal spin direction of one particle is left, then the spin direction of the other particle must be right. We can measure the spin direction of the two particles in quick succession very fast. We know that the fastest thing in this universe is light. One foot in one billionth of a second. Let us assume that the two particles, the two entangled particles are separated at one foot. After the measurement, we understood that the quantum information can travel faster than light. Albert Einstein dismissed quantum entanglement as two key action at a distance over the past few decades. However, physicists have demonstrated the reality of spooky action over ever greater distances, even from Earth to satellite in space. The minimum speed of the entanglement is 1,44,500 times the speed of light. The second example I have given is quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is a phenomenon in which particles penetrate a potential energy barrier with a height greater than the total energy of the particles. Quantum tunneling is the quantum mechanical phenomenon where a wave function can propagate through a potential barrier. Some physicists 
have claimed that it is possible for spin zero particles to travel faster than the speed of light when tunneling. The appa this apparently violates the principle of causality uh, since there will be a frame of reference in which it arrives before it has left. In 1998, Francis E. Lowe reviewed briefly the phenomenon of zero time tunneling. More recently, experimental tunneling, time data of photons and electrons have been published by Gunther Nims. Other physicists such as Herbert Winfield have disputed these claims. Winfield argues that the wave packet of a tunneling particles propagates locally, so a particle can't tunnel to the barrier non-locally. Winfield also argues that the experiments that are uh, that are supported to show non-local propagation have been misinterpreted. In particular, the group velocity of a wave packet does not measure its speed. But is, but is related to the amount of time the wave packet is stored in the barrier. But the problem remains that the wave function still rises inside the barrier at all points at the same time. In other words, in any region that is inaccessible to measurement, non-local propagation is still mathematically certain. Okay. The third example I have given is the expansion of the universe. For thousands of years, astronomers wrestled with basic questions about the size and age of the universe. Does the universe go on forever? Or does it have an edge somewhere? Has it always existed? Or did it come to being sometime in the past? In 1929, Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer at Caltech made a critical discovery that soon led to scientific answers for these questions. He discovered that the universe is expanding. It is found that the distant galaxies are moving away from Earth and the further away they are, the faster they are moving. A galaxy of megaparsec away is moving away from us at 70 kilometers per second. As you know, megaparsec, it is a unit of distance, is million parsec or 3.26 million light years. A galaxy of 2 megaparsec away is moving at 140 kilometers per second. A galaxy of 3 megaparsec away is moving 210 km per second and so on. We know the speed of light is 300,000 km per second. So we can figure out how far away we have to go to have a galaxy moving away from us at the speed of light. It will be 4,296 megaparsec or 14 billion light years. This means that the surface of a sphere with Earth as center and radius 14 billion light years is moving away from us with speed of light and bigger spheres are moving away from us faster than light. A sphere with 28 billion light years is expanding twice the speed of light. This is happening because the space is expanding. Next we are going to discuss uh, the last and the fourth one that is uh, Chernobyl radiation. Uh, through a medium of any type, whether uh, that's air, water, glass, acrylic or any gas, liquid or solid, light travels at a measurably slower speed. The Chernoff effect occurs when particles carrying an electric charge travels through a transparent medium like water or air. 
if the if the particles travels faster than light in this medium its passage causes a brief flash of light known as chernov light this effect is named after the soviet physicist pavel chernov who discovered the phenomenon and obtained the nobel prize in physics for his discovery in 1958 in the field of radioactivity particles like electrons and positrons create chernov effect in water the speed of light is 200000 km per second an electron must have an energy greater than 175 keV to go faster than light in water this condition is often fulfilled by beta electrons of radioactivity but never with the heavy and too slow alpha particles chernov radiation characteristically appears as a blue glow and it's most commonly seen as in the figure in water surrounding nuclear reactor chernov radiation is electromagnetic radiation emitted when a charged particle such as an electron or positron passes through a dielectric medium at a speed greater than the phase velocity of light in that medium phase velocity is the sp speed of propagation of a wave in that medium some of the aspects we explained here are theoretical uh, some are experimentally proved as well or uh, we can we need to still wait uh, some of the phenomena to be proved experimentally uh, that's all thanks for watching please like share and subscribe thanks a lot